Anyways, I, I mean, I don't know how we got into Harry Styles either, but um. No, you said he was gay. Yeah, you think I? I don't know for sure, but I would tend to think that people that hang out at that place are probably gay. I thought a lot of straight men went to gay bars. Um, and pro- I mean, probably more now, but I mean, I'm saying years ago when he was supposed. Isn't that a bit of a within the gay community? I've heard that it's a it's a big thing to um to sleep with a straight guy. I don't know if they have a word for them. It's a pink thing. Um, it's a witch? I, I don't think that that's a big thing, but... Oh, okay. I'm sure some people... Uh, who knows? You know, I don't know. I mean, it's, a ch- it's a challenge. Uh, it's a challenge. Oh. Um, a conquest. <laughs> sure. Man, sure. I don't know. I mean, you believe that, right? But... He, <laughs> I don't believe that. I'm questioning that. I just yeah, asked. I, I don't I, know. It doesn't matter to me, actually. Well, I'm in a committed relationship. Um, I have been for five years, and I'm engaged. Congratulations. So, thank you. So I don't. Um, so I guess I've been kind of out of it, the community, for the last five years. So I can't tell you as strongly as how much it's morphed into what it is. Um, but when I used to, I used to go out all the time and everything else. I never would tell you that people were interested in. And in fact, I found that most people, if they were straight, like people just like welcomed them and they were just happy that they were a straight person supporting gay people by being there and not being all weird, you know? So just enjoying themselves, you know? So I don't know. I just, I never saw anyone like, I think the reason people like gay bars for the most part is because of every, I mean, I don't, it seems like everyone's just welcomed, you know, and Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if what you look like and how you dress or how fat you are, things like that. I think it's just kind of like just an accepting place, you know? I understand. Sounds, sounds, sounds nice. Yeah. And I think, um, yeah, I noticed you've been posting a lot of stuff about the transgendered stuff and, um, yeah. Yeah. What's that about? Well, it's just sparked my, piqued my interest and unreal has been doing a lot of great investigation. I think at egi.fakeologist.com and on the forums at fakeologist.com forward slash forums. And uh, it just piqued my interest because it just seemed like he was one of the few people that do does some serious, what looks like evidence-based research instead of just on what though I don't understand what 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 is the what is the transgender thing I don't I'm I guess what I'm asking I don't understand I I did I only saw some videos on it but I didn't know what it was about so well there's been quite a push in the media as you may be aware of the transgender issue mainly with uh, what's the issue one of the card one of the Kardashian persons, uh, Bruce Jenner, they've made that a big deal in the media. It's. Uh, well, I don't think Bruce Jenner speaks for the gay community or the transgender community in any which way. And I think if you spoke to anyone else, that's really. Trans- I don't think anyone should speak for any community, black, white, uh, left, right, up, down. Uh, but he's being promoted by the media that is run by the culture creating intelligence agencies and therefore it's it's been high on the list ab do you forget media- that like do you forget that like like not even a hundred years ago if you were found that you were gay they would put you in an insane asylum and sterilize you and 60 years ago the police would beat you if you were gay so it's really and you know and now and now obviously gays are allowed to get married sort of kind of in the united states and other places other places still know. And then that this is kind of like maybe like the acceptance that there are really people in the world that are transgendered and there really are people in the world who are gay. And so, and these are part of the community. These are our brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, parents, and things like that. Mm-hmm. And they, and they do exist and it's just part of life. And I think maybe the media always portrayed these homes that were like the Brady Bunch and, like so many of those kind of homes where everything kind of was perfect and they lived in this perfect fifties home and whatever. And in reality, like that's not really how families are. And so maybe there's just a more realness in society now. And that maybe that's what they're trying to project. You know, I, I mean, I don't, I personally don't feel like they're pushing it, but I feel like they're just acknowledging that it exists in the community. But I can also see among I can see the transgender thing being a method of trying to even divide the gay community because obviously like all communities, like every group, there are, there's race, uh, racism and bigotry in every group. 
including the fakeology world. Like, I mean, I see it all the time, you know? So, mm-hmm. You see it on fakeologist.com? Race, racists? I see I sexism. Know. I see, I've been called yeah. a fag before. Um, yeah. yeah, there's definitely things and, um, yeah. I mean, I definitely think that there's some... Well, people things. reach for labels. It's just easy to pick a label and call someone that, besides besides your name. Right, but I mean, you know, what Ab, when you're... Like, for example, I'm gay, right? So me, and I think a lot of gay people recognize how the media has lied about gay people for so long and demonized gay people for so long. And, and, and that wasn't even that long ago. They were still demonizing us here in the United States. And so, and I think... When so, I think that a lot of gay people probably always question what the media has said, and obviously it doesn't mean that they're all fakeologists or we're making any general statement. But I think that it'd be very easy for gay people to come to the truth truth community and the truth side. But often, what I think you find in the truth community is a lot of bigotry. You see a lot of homophobia, and um, and just a lot of things that are said that you know when you are gay daily and you kind of do have to deal with deal with the daily. Um, it's kind of one of those last things you want to do is come and speak to another community who supposedly is about truth, and yet they're going to be bigot- bigoted towards you because of your sexual. Well, yeah, all communities are disparate. They just because <laughs> community is just sort of another false, false construct. We're just people that are interested in a certain topic, and we might be interested in a million other topics as well. We cannot be labeled and kept under one heading for a convenient uh, sortation of people. Hey, yeah, no problem, Ab, but no one needs to yeah. up and point it out to somebody. And no one needs to, like yourself, label someone even transgendered. Why are you labeling the transgender thing? Then? Why are you, you know what I'm saying? Why are you labeling who... Well, I'm, I'm looking at it from a deception angle. I would like to look at it from a deception angle more than anything. So if there is a deception going on, if there is a whole community of people that is being created with uh, without being truthful as to what's happened, whether there be a very sophisticated biological technology happening, then I'm interested in that. I'm actually not too bothered by transgenders in general. I I, I still agree that it's it's with uh, one of the people I like to listen to, Pockets of the Future, who thinks it's a psychological disorder but um i just like the deception aspect more than anything and if there is some kind of technology to alter the human bi- human biology so why, and actually, its development let's, let's talk about that so why do you believe it's a psychological disorder do you have a are you familiar with a dsm-4 are you familiar with transgender people no not really it's just my opinion just like okay. i think politics is fake i just there's just just the hmm. it's just the accumulation of experience over 50 years that I've made that decision. I don't necessarily have to have any physical direct evidence. It's just all my reading and research and accumulated knowledge. I I agree. I don't have a lot of contact with people that identify as homosexual, I, but uh, it just that's just the conclusion I've reached. Just like I've reached. So wait, so it's just because so, cause somebody's, so you're saying, so you're saying being a homosexual is a mental illness as well then? I think it's a behavior, yeah. I didn't say it's an illness. You said, I said, I think it's a, I think. You just said it's a disorder. I think, no, I said that's what, that's what the DSM may have said. Me personally, I think it's a behavior. I think most of the things we do are, are behaviors. We can behave depressed, we can, uh, behave in certain act out certain sexual ideals but it's all behavior i don't think there's you know, i don't think there's any physical biology behind most of it or any of it i think the human mind is the most misunderstood and most sought after thing to research and most for the most part we know nothing about it that's true that's, that's yeah true. it may as well be space or our or deep sea, we we just don't have access. We can't get into it and and inside it. We just are taking really big guesses. Yeah, I, you know, originally, we threw- came from, I originally came from a medical background. Um, that's okay, what I did my undergrad in and um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I you said that oncology and hematology and yeah. Um, I also helped some of my friends um study with the DSM four, so I'm pretty familiar with a lot of like okay 
Yeah, you probably know more about it than I do. Yeah, so, I mean, I, may, yeah, maybe, maybe not. I mean, you could be well-researched into something else. You, you never know what people know, Ab. Just, you don't need a degree, in my opinion, to be knowledgeable about any particular... I agree. Idea, I agree know? with that statement. But, um, you know, I do have a transgendered uh, cousin, and um, she's very successful, and um, I think... What exactly does that mean? Transgendered? Um, to me, it in means, your cousin's case, what does it mean? I, I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with what you're asking. I'm not. What is well, that what mean? to what extent are they transgender? Well, to what extent were, is it? Uh, is it simply yeah. psychological yeah. in their mind that they they act? They're acting out gender behavior of the opposite gender that they were born with. I'm was not there surgery, on it, makeup? Ab, I, I can't answer questions about transgendered people because I'm not transgendered. And no, but you, I just asking you questions about your. Did you say it was your cousin? It is my cousin. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm asking. I'm just asking about this I situation. Can't speak, I can't speak for her, so that's you know, and some of these things, you know, Ab, there's certain things I I don't fully understand. You know, being. I just I would just want to know the details. Was 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 your cousin born a male or a female? Right. He, he, yes. She was born a male and then now she's a female. Correct. Actually, right before you came on, there was somebody else on that was in the chat room that were, I was speaking with and he had said that his, uh, he's, his nephew's now a niece, you know, it's like, uh, you know, his niece is transgendered. There we go. That's the best. I forget. That's right. Supposedly you guys just passed something in what, um, Canada about pronouns or something. <laughs> Well, there's talk about the pronoun, yeah, the, that they want to just use a neutral pronoun. They, they can use whatever they want in terms I, of... I mean, uh, ob- I mean, Ab, yes, there are some things for sure with it that where I think... But again, this whole conversation, I think, initially started with creating, um, you know, divide and conquer, almost dividing us, right? And the transgender bathroom thing was to basically help people, you know, make people argue and in reality, I mean, who really cares who's using the bathroom? And you know what? There's transgender people that you would never even know were male or female. and Like, you know, were born male or female, you know? So, you know, it's, and I think even yourself, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know or would you even care. I mean, you shouldn't care. I mean, think, think if you care, that's a whole other story. But, you know, it's, the, the thing is at the end of the day, Ab, everyone lives their lives wherever they are around the world the way that they see fit, Right. And so how can I see here and end? You know, I'm not really life. interested in the general day-to-day affairs of transgenders and, and homosexuals. I'm actually interested in the deception angle for the most part. I don't think there That's is a deception when it comes to... Elite transgender? You I don't, don't think there's anything to it? I don't. I think it might be... I think it's something that makes... Um, a lot. See, my I find people who are homophobic and people who sometimes think your way. There's nothing. Generally... This has well, nothing to do with homophobia or any phobia. Well, it's more. Saying, first of all, I, know. I need to finish the complete thought before you know I can respond. You can respond, but you no. Know, if well, sometimes I like to cut people off because I think I I get it. But go ahead. Uh, you see, and this, this is the thing, when you cut me off too, then I lose my train of thought. <laughs> so, you see, and I'm like you too. I'm a nasty host. Oh, man. Yeah, you're no Howard Stern. What the hell? Um, I know. Actually, I appreciate some of it. Sometimes I love him cutting off. Sometimes I hate it. <clears throat> I don't listen to him anymore. Uh, he he was a really, really good interviewer. Um, I guess he still is, but um, I haven't listened to him in a few years either, so... Kind of dropped out after Debbie the Pet Lady kind of went MIA and, uh, Eric the actor went away too. I don't know if you remember them. But. How about Elliot, elegant Elliot Often, another offensive character? No, <laughs> I didn't know who that is. So, um, yeah. Well, you know, it's funny because we talk about Howard Stern and, um, I, the more I look through his guest list, and I've said this before to Mr. E3000, he had an interview with that person. I think Howard Stern was running a real transgender den, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's fantastic. What, and I, I'm very suspicious now of I, I Howard's quote unquote wife. I, I see, what I don't understand is like, why, I guess you're interested in it and I don't, I guess I'm not, 
Well, you don't just because I'm interested in it doesn't mean you have to be interested in it. I'm, no, okay. that you think that, I mean that you're interested in that, that it's a psyop, and, I, and I'm just sitting here. I didn't say that. no. I don't think it's a psyop. I think it's. I think it could be happening. I'm not sure. I would call it a psyop. I think it could be a deception at a high level, and it's fascinating. I thought you said you, it was cultural programming, is what you were calling it earlier, right? Well, there is. There's. There are many elements to this transgender thing it's it's in the mainstream it's promoted in schools now it's uh it's driving legislation and the other aspect that's more fascinating to me and unreal is is it could be happening in front of our eyes and we don't even know what we're seeing because we don't have any education regarding the physio- basic physiology of a man and a woman. We haven't really studied the differences uh, other than the obvious Ab, ones. I, there, Ab, they, there was a, something that happened back in the day with the, uh, what is it, with the uh, Olympics, and they did genetic tests um, to see if people were... Well, I don't thinking. believe in genetic tests. I don't I don't believe that. Okay, well... I don't even believe don't, in that. Okay, all right, well... I don't know. I, but yeah, I know that was a, that was a story in the Olympics where they caught men or yeah, men racing in women's races. But it, did they really give it enough no, treatment? That, that, that certain women, like their genetic code, was showing that they indicated that they were male, even though they were physically a woman. Okay, I never heard that part. I never heard anyone decode the genetic code, and I, and yeah, I think like, they found evidence of tucked away penises but other than that i don't think anyone <laughs> exposed genetic code which i think is another hoax so look at the um, long list of comprehensive guide to facebook's new options for gender identity wow if you look in the live stream chat unreal has posted a huge list wow we're really the license <laughs> The licensed uh, sexual database in the DMV is just going to have a list a mile long of different uh, but sexual. But people have been transgendered. Like, okay. Forever. Like they, this is not a have new they really? phenomenon. Why do you think this is a new phenomenon? Just because you've never been exposed to it and your family's never been exposed to it? No, I think, the, I think the mainstream promotion of it is relatively new. I think the mainstream promotion of it possibly could be for good reasons, too. It could be that, hey, mm-hmm. these people exist. I, I mean, Ab, there's the peop- there, we recognize that there's probably some sort of group of elites that run the show, right? And I imagine that they don't agree on everything, just like everyone at Thinkologist doesn't agree on everything, right? And so why wouldn't there maybe be some push to, you know, it creates conflict, but at the end of the day, then people aren't really, once it's become, especially, I guess, with younger people being exposed to it, they're not, after them seeing, like, oh, it's not a really a big deal or whatever, then they're, like, less inclined to be critical and... I don't know. I just feel like and more accepting of it. Yeah, I think yeah. that's part of it. Sure. So, I really encourage you to listen to Pockets of the Future, who does a YouTube channel. He does a lot of discussion on this, and I, I really agree with a lot of what he has to say. He's really fascinating. Yeah. Well, I kind of—I don't know. I, I yeah, uh, man. I don't know. Sometimes I sometimes like. Um, I think uh, some. Uh, this is the this is the truth, and I've definitely talked about this with Vidir before. In my experience as a gay man, the only people who I ever feel that generally are homophobic and people who usually are very uncomfortable around it or about it and everything else are generally people who are questioning themselves. Yeah. So it's generally... I'm people. really not, though. Oh, I'm sorry to tell you. I, that's your thing, man. It's not my job. To, I'm not labeling you anything, and I'm not saying you're anything, but I'm just saying that's been... Are you implying it? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that's been my experience. And so if you... Okay. Are you saying that you're homophobic? No. So then, I'm not afraid. I'm, very I'm not well, afraid. That, there's your answer. Then that, there's your answer. I'm saying that's my my experience. People who are homophobic, people who tend to like focus and kind of pick on this stuff, seem to be people who generally are questioning themselves. Yeah. And I'm not focusing the on this. I, I, I'm focusing on the deception. The same thing. Yeah. Well, I'm, I don't focus on it. I I merely go where the media tells me to go, and the media has sent me this direction. And the deception angle has perked my interest, and therefore I created a sub blog called egi.fakeologist.com. And I've got some, I think, decent research. I've got a good curation of YouTubers I think are not 
being it's funny, man. Deceptive. I don't even follow this myself, and I'm gay. I, I don't even know what's going on with any of it. Well, I don't think because you identify as a homosexual that you should necessarily be interested in the deception angle of EGI. I don't. They don't. Those things don't don't follow. There's no logical link between the two. Yeah, I guess I don't see it as deception. I just see it as it's part of the world. It's part of society. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like. I'm talking about the elite gender inversion. Are you following that aspect of the research? No, I'm not. Well, I thought you didn't believe. You're not really interested in the research. You already have your mind made up. And you already. No, I'm. No, I'm. I'm. I'm talking about elites being inverted or somehow altered early on. That's what I'm interested in. The elites being okay. I'll have to look. Yeah. Into it. Yeah, that's that's really what I'm interested. In. Of course, all the mainstream transgender stuff I follow closely because it's being brought into the schools and I'm concerned. I do have children, so I'm just concerned with what's being taught. You know, and I, and Ab, I went to Turin, uh, Turin or Torino in Italy. Um, a few yeah. Ago, and um, they have the largest um, Egyptian exhibit outside of Egypt. It's actually larger okay. than the one in the UK. And um, in fact, they filmed the uh, opening scene for the Italian job in front of it. Um, so have you ever seen that movie? It's, the big no, one. that's the museum. Anyways, um, what's really interesting is um, when you go through all the stuff, and you can read what you know. Obviously, they have signs in English and Italian that you know explain what each one of the pictures are. But even if you look at it and stuff like that, you can clearly see that I believe you, uh, at least I could see it, and other people I was with, and you know, I was. We all come from some are straight, some are not. Yeah. Indicated that even back then there was, I mean, assuming that that stuff's all real from that time period and stuff like that, that homosexuality was just part of life there. And yeah, well, I'm sure, I'm sure it goes through ways of life. acceptance and oppression. Yeah, right. I, yeah, I'm okay with that. So, um, and that was kind of, I mean, there's even a scroll when you uh, walk in, and it's it's interesting because I can't, I didn't take any pictures, but um, there was a scroll when you walk in, and it's it goes the whole length of the room and around the room and everything else. And it actually traces all the pharaohs for the last 12,000 years. And it's weird because, you know, our history only shows what, you know, 2,500 or 5,000 years. But when you walk into that museum, that's one of the first things that are there. And um, I always thought that was kind of interesting too, because um, I've always felt that they lie about, they lie about something from the past and they don't want us to know stuff about the past for some reason. They don't want us to know the, they don't even want to question what they think might have happened in the past. You know, they're not very open to dialogue about it. The uh-huh. astro- um, historians and stuff. So, anyways, man, I'm gonna have to let you go. And um, actually, I could probably could talk for two more minutes, but then I really got to go because I have to head to class. So, well, I find you interesting, uh, Tal. You're 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 a very intelligent person, so it's good to get your your take on things. Yeah, well, and, uh, thanks for being respectful to listen to what I'm saying too. You know, man, it's not, uh, it's, um. Well, a good host always tries to listen. I try to listen. Howard. Yeah, well, Howard doesn't, well, I guess he listens he a bit. Listens. Yeah. He's, 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 I think, I, I still like Howard Stern. I mean, I don't really give, I, I don't listen to him anymore, but it's still. Uh, well, as he said, he is a friend of the gays. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says. Oh, you're trying to tell me you're a friend of the gays now too? No, I said no. See, you see, you you're can't. Not. What the hell? No, you, you see what see see how you take something and you twist it and and make a oh, a, a leap in logic. That's that's Actually, really bad. Hey man, I'm a big joker. I love to. I love yeah. To, so it's that's just part of who I am. So I like, like everybody. I like everybody. Part. I like all fakeologists. I like you because you're a fakeologist. I don't really get into people's behavior. I don't condone the, the homosexual behavior and I don't con- condone. Uh, what do you mean you condone? Al- and wh- wh- how, who are you to condone? I, I don't condone, I don't, I don't condone alcohol abuse. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't. Maybe what does it, condone maybe, mean to you? What I'm going to look that, you don't I'm going to look that up. Let me look it up. Condone. Condone. I don't, ex- it means, let's hear. Condone. 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 Accept and allow behavior that is considered morally wrong or offensive to continue. Okay. Right. So you think or approve or sanction something. Okay. I don't, I don't approve or sanction homosexual behavior. I'll just say it right there. Wow. Then I'm going to question your sexuality. Okay. 
So come on down. <laughs> hey man, I, it must be. You need to get some action or something. I don't know. What's going on. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm married, of course. <laughs> well, Condone. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, I gotta let you go, anyways. It's that time. So you have a good night. Okay. Take care. Bye bye.